Hello, this is Mark from Blue Cloud Solutions. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to capture, edit, and export those tricky video previews and upload them to the App Store. Uh, I'm going to show you with one of our own, own codes. Make sure you're following along with your Mac uh, running Yosemite OS 10 or higher and an Apple device of iOS 8 or higher. I'm going to also be using QuickTime Player, which you can download from the App Store and also iMovie. And also check out the blog post we put together below. It offers some great tips and steps that will save you tons of time and energy for managing these app video previews. All right, I'm gonna start by showing you how to capture your device's screen. This is a great tool for not only making app video previews, but also for showing feedback to your developer if you're working on a project, or simply showing an app build to a friend, getting his feedback. Um, so to capture your device's screen, you can use Simulator if you have the code. Uh, you can open Xcode or Unity, and usually there's a play button on the top left. Press that guy, the simulator goes on your screen. And this is great because it has all the devices for you. It has the iPads, the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 5. So if you're recording all of these, these app previews for each device, it's great to use a code because it's most likely you don't have all of these devices. We are going to use QuickTime. That's what Apple recommends. Uh, you can find it on the App Store. You can download it from the internet. You probably already have it on your computer and have used it a thousand times. But basically, open QuickTime, connect your device to the lightning cable and the computer. This is this I call it the USB cord, but basically connect your cable um, to your device in your computer. So hover over to QuickTime, new movie recording, and bam! There's my device. Yours is not going to pop up. To get your device to show, you're going to select this down arrow. And you can select your uh, computer camera, or make, or, but make sure you select your device. And also for the microphone, you're going to want to select your device so that you get you know, all of the music tracks, sound effects, whatever is on your app. Finally, scroll down to the bottom, and we have quality. Make sure it's on maximum. If you feel like this is taking up your whole screen, we can also change the size of the, sim of the, the simulator running. We can do, let's see, click view, decrease size. Um, that might be a little bit better for you. Fit to screen, I'm gonna increase it again. And we're good to go. So yeah, QuickTime is great. You can see it has a great response time. Um, it's pretty much the same speed as uh, you know, running my phone. And I'm gonna simply click record by hovering over QuickTime. I am now recording, I'll open my app. I'm using GemDots. This is a free version, so you're going to see some ads. We actually sell this app at Blue Cloud Solutions on the source code page. It's an awesome app, um, sweet puzzle app. Uh, so basically what you can do is start playing with your app. You can either record in segments, or you can do what I do and just record a super long video going through all the most amazing components of your app and chop it up later. Uh, also a really important note, is when you're recording a video, you want to go through your in-app purchases. For example, if you want to, if your if your app has coins um, or extra lives that you can purchase, make sure you show those. For mine, for example, I have remove ads, so that's really important to show. So after you're done recording your video, hover over QuickTime again and click the stop button. And now we have a perfect QuickTime video of our app uh, right on our computer here. So sweet, that's half the battle. You've got your app recorded. Now we need to edit this guy and get it ready for the store. Okay, we have captured our device. We have our app video on our computer. Now we're gonna do some edits. To do edits, we're gonna use iMovie. You can get this again on the App Store. Once we have this guy opened up, we are gonna hover over here, I'll create a new event. I'll call it App Previews. And at this time we can import our media. You can do it by clicking the import media or simply selecting it from your, your finder, dragging it in. And there's our movie. So you have your video uploaded now. You can browse across it with the cursor and it kind of shows you what's going on. Or you can hover over and press spacebar and it will play at that exact point. Press spacebar again for, for it to stop. What's really important to do now before you go any further 
is to select File and New App Preview. This is going to help us upload for the store. Um, very important, crucial for iMovie and uploading to the store. Select New App Preview, OK, and we are good to go. So let's pretend I have my awesome video here and it's all in one segment and I'm happy with it. I'm good to go. I'm going to drag this in and this is going to be my actual file that's going to be uploaded to the Apple Store. Uh, let's pretend like that's not the case and I want to capture certain segments. I'm going to hover over and the easiest thing to do is you can select clips like this. I'm dragging the endpoints. I'll show my beautiful main menu. Um, Let's make it a little bigger. Drag that down there. Let's see, I want to get uh, some gameplay. We'll go over here, get the, these red dots. Cool, got my gameplay. I'll drag that over. And let's say I want to get my in-app purchases. Um, I'll go back. Let's see. Right there. Make sure I've got my in-app purchases. Drag that in there as well. Uh, so I have all three of these clips now um, uploaded to my movie. You can again adjust these clips here as well. Let's make them shorter or longer. I can move them around if I want to change the placements. If I want to add some transitions like some fades some or some blurs, some dissolves, simply Drop those in, hover over, press space bar. You see we've got a cool fade now. If I want to add a title, uh, you can do that here. Tons of options for titles. If you have Morgan Freeman in the building and you want to do a sick, a uh, really cool voiceover, you can select window and record voiceover. There's some options here uh, for volume and everything. Uh, to start recording, select this guy. and record your voice. Gym Dots is a challenging puzzle game where you connect as many gyms as possible in a certain time period. I'll select the stop button. Another great feature iMovie has to help spice up your movie is some really fun uh, sound effects and music files. Select your sound effects. We'll check out Park Bench. And I will just add that wherever I want. Cool, so I've got my video good to go. Again, make sure that it is between 15 and 30 seconds. You can see right here that mine's at 16, so just getting past the minimum. I'll click over here, press spacebar to preview it one last time. Gym Dots is a challenging puzzle game where you connect as many gyms as possible in a certain time period. So sweet, we're done. Uh, you want to make sure that your video is spent a little bit more time than the couple of minutes I did this one on and really gets the features across and focuses on the topics and in-app purchases and everything that you need to show to market your app correctly. Again, check out the blog post below. It has some great tips for you to run through, uh, things that Apple's looking for with these videos that you're going to make sure you don't want to miss out on because you will get rejected and it'll cost you tons more time and more importantly money. All right, we have captured our app onto our computer and then we've edited it and we're ready to upload to the store. Using iMovie, they couldn't have made this any easier. Again, when you're making an app video preview, make sure you're doing it as an app preview. Once you've completed your video, I have mine here. All we have to do is click the share button. Make sure you select app preview. It has our resolution, our size, and the format. All looks good to me. Uh, we have our time. Again, make sure that it's between 15 and 30 seconds. Mine's 16, just making the cut. You have your estimated size, just over 25 megabytes. You want to make sure that yours is under 500. We'll click Next. Save it. I usually do gem dots, name of the code. And I'll do app preview, uh, iPhone 6. And save. You can see I've got the save dial over here usually takes less than a minute depending on the length and the resolution of your video but pretty quick once completed I am notified um, I can either close this or show it 
I'll open it. And there we go. Double click it, opens up on um, QuickTime for me. Sweet. So we're good to go. Um, this is saved. Now what we need to do is open iTunes and drop, drag and drop this in. Okay, we're ready to log on to iTunes Connect to upload our video. Make sure you're using the Safari browser. For whatever reason, that's what Apple wants you to use uh, and only use to upload videos. So make sure you're using Safari. Select the app that you're going to choose to upload the video to. And you can see that we have all of our metadata filled out. This actually, this version's already in the store, so we'd want to create a new version. So we have our screenshots. This is our screenshot for iPhone 6, the 4.7 inch. That is what we recorded. If we wanted to, let's say, go to the iPhone 6 Plus, uh, we would just select that guy, and that's where we'd enter the iPhone 6 Plus video. For the iPhone 5, it would be the 4 inch, then the uh, regular iPhone, which you can't upload videos for, so don't waste your time, and then the iPad. For our use, we're going to choose the 4.7. I'm going to open Finder and simply drag it in. Make sure I select the one, the correct one here. Drag it on in there. And it usually takes a couple seconds. Sometimes it might take up to 24 hours. Uh, in this case, you can see it's uploading right away. Uh, make sure you click Save before you continue. But you can click Play, preview it in iTunes Connect and you are good to go. So now you've captured your, your app, you've edited it with iMovie, and you've uploaded it to the store. Again, check the blog below. Apple has a lot of restrictions that they're keeping a close eye on with these app video previews. You're gonna wanna make sure you pay close attention to them so you don't waste time, don't, sweat, don't waste money, and get these guys up, uploaded to the store pronto. Good luck, we'll see you soon.